Hey guys, I'm sitting in a hotel room in Columbus, Ohio, and I flew here today. I am preparing for my appearance on the Journey Home show tomorrow, and it's gonna be on EWTN. Most of you probably know what that show is about, but for those of you that don't, it's basically a show that uh, interviews people who've come into the Catholic Church from all different walks of life. And I, I remember watching this program for years, honestly, when before I was thinking about becoming Catholic, but starting to learn a little bit about the Catholic Church, watching these videos and watching these episodes, learning from people about what it was that drew them to the Catholic Church. And the thing that, that amazed me most about it was, that amazed me most was that it wasn't the same story told every time. It was always something different, but yet some of those themes were present no matter who the people were that were being interviewed. And it was making me feel like it's just an awesome thing to be a part of a church that God is drawing us through our experiences and through things that we're thinking of. And, and what, what brings one person is something that doesn't bring another person, but God uses some, a completely different thing. And it's kind of like almost like when we first come to Christ, you know, there's some people that come to Christ out of um, bad times in their lives and, and God delivers them. And there's other people that come to Christ when things are going great, but yet they become aware of the reality of God. Uh, some people come to, to know the Lord through reading scripture, other people through hearing a sermon, other people through just thinking about it. And, and the same thing is kind of true when it comes to our Catholic faith, isn't it? Some of us come to faith because we we read it in the scriptures and we, we realized that there is this church that Jesus founded and we see things in the Old Testament and, and coming true in the new and we, we look at these things and, and we think, okay, this is the Catholic faith. Other times we're involved in it because we got in a discussion with somebody or sometimes there was a miracle that happened. Whatever it might be for you, you you're on a journey. And for me, to be at this place here in 2020, when just about, not even three years ago, I left everything and um, became a Catholic, you know, and I say everything, I mean my, my career, my job in ministry in a Protestant church. To think that here I am about to go on this show tomorrow and sit down with a man that I've, that I've watched dozens of times, Marcus Grodi, and have him ask me the question, you know, what made you become Catholic? I'm really excited. I, I don't feel worthy of it. I don't feel like I deserve to be here. Um, I, it's surreal to me that this is happening, but I'm so grateful and thankful. And I wanted to just kind of show you guys a little bit about what was happening. And um, thank you for supporting me and watching my channel and watching my content. I will update you guys a little bit more tomorrow on how things are going and what happens. And I'm hoping that I can give you some insights onto this, just this whole idea of what it means to be on your journey. Because the truth is, there's nothing special about me. Every single one of you who's, who's come into the church could tell the story. And it doesn't matter who I am. It doesn't matter who the, the guests are. What matters is who God is and what God does. And I, I'm just thankful that I get a chance to, to share that story. And I pray that God uses that and helps you guys. So thanks so much. I will be checking in with you tomorrow. And I look forward to sharing more with you guys. God bless. Okay, so I'm here at the Journey Home. The Coming Home Network. We're gonna head inside and check this place out. This is all the cool bookstore stuff. I'm trying to be quiet because they're taping right now. The first guy, he's Bishop. He's a bishop from Canada and he's uh, he's awesome. We had dinner last night and then we spent the morning work doing, uh, we did morning prayer coming together on the way here. It was absolutely amazing and he's recording. So I'm not gonna record anything down in there at the moment because 
we want to make sure that that's put out first. But this place is awesome. It's super exciting to be here. I'm pumped to uh, be able to do this and uh, I'll be checking back with you soon. All right. Just finished with Marcus. It was a fantastic experience, and I'm excited for you guys to see this interview. He's gonna be back in here in a few minutes, so I'm gonna have him say hi to you guys, but thanks for all your prayers. It was awesome. So you're on YouTube right now. Marcus, say hi to my YouTube Great. channel. Hello. Everyone loves you. They all want me to say hi to you. Well, thank you all, and I just had an absolutely wonderful experience with Keith telling his story, and, and uh, thank you for watching his YouTube channel. Thanks so much. We got the bishop over here. Ah, Thanks great. so much for, for everything today. Your story was amazing, and I can't wait for, for my channel to see that as well. Uh, it was an absolute awesome. pleasure. Awesome. And awesome. great to get to know Keith here. First awesome. time that we're meeting, and uh, I think uh, brothers in the Lord. Amen. All right. Amen. Thanks, guys. You bet. He told some of my good close buddies, I said, you, you know when you're... I think I told you guys this, you know when you're an old, out of shape Catholic man, when you get up in the middle of the night for the third time to go to the bathroom, and you're coming back to the bed, and, the, and your lamp shows your silhouette against the wall, <laughs> and the first thing that comes to your mind is the Pacamama eye. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm about to take off. I'm at the airport in Columbus, and I just wanted to take a time, uh, take some time to make a video for you guys here on Patreon. You guys are my subscribers, you're my team, and it's so, you guys, it's just humbling to see this team grow. I think there's over 20 of you now, and I can't believe that most of, you know, you're all basically strangers to me um, as far as we've never met in person, but you guys really do feel like family to me. And I want to thank you for believing in me and standing by me as I work in this ministry and try to do things. And, you know, I'm just trying to do the best I can to keep things going. And lots of exciting things are coming up, you guys. And, and I'm really, really so thankful to you guys. This experience on the journey home has been incredible. So surreal to be a part of this and to sit down with Marcus and talk about my journey and my story. And it's made me reflect so much on, on how grateful I am and how um, thankful I am to be able to do what I'm doing. And I'm so thankful to you guys. Every single month, you guys support me. And I just can't tell you what that means. I don't feel like I deserve that or am owed that by anybody, but I sure do appreciate it. And I'm working really hard to try to bring the best stuff I can to this ministry. So thank you guys. It was a blast being on the show. It's going to air on March 30th, I think is what it is. Um, so I'll let you guys know as that comes up. But thanks again for, for being so generous to me and supporting me on Patreon. And I really appreciate your prayers. I pray for each and every one of you guys every week when I go to my holy hour on Friday nights. And uh, you guys mean the world to me. So thank you so much and take care.